LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, lift off conditions looking pretty good. ATS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten, nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good afternoon and welcome to SpaceX's splashdown coverage of the world's first all-civilian astronaut mission to orbit. On Wednesday, September 15th, after Falcon 9 separated from Dragon, Dragon computed, completed two uphill phasing burns to reach its intended target orbit with altitudes as high as 590 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The, the Inspiration4 astronauts then doffed or took off their spacesuits, completed on-orbit cabin configuration operations, and conducted their first round of scientific research. Before catching a few hours of sleep, they enjoyed their first meals together, one of which, one of which was pizza, which was a very surreal moment for them uh, because we heard the crew saying, and I quote, I can't believe we're eating cold pizza in space. It's extraordinary. Yesterday, the Inspiration4 crew opened the forward hatch to get their first look out of Dragon's Cupola, the largest window to ever fly in space. They made a few phone calls and also recorded an event with patients of St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, which was incredible. And thank you so much to the kids who joined us for that. My name is Andy Tran, a quality engineer at SpaceX. And I'm Jesse Anderson, a production and engineering manager here at SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. Today, we are awaiting the return of our four incredible civilian astronauts, Jared Isaacman, Dr. Cyan Proctor, Haley Arsenault, and Chris Sombrowski. These four astronauts are wrapping up the third and final day on orbit in preparation for splashdown in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Florida at approximately 4.06 p.m. Pacific time in just about an hour from now. The crew's return to Earth officially began yesterday around 3.19 Pacific time when they initiated their first downhill phase burn, followed by the second downhill phase burn roughly an hour later. Now, each of these events involved short firings of Dragon's Draco thrusters to lower Dragon's altitude in advance of re-entering the Earth. Following these two burns, the crew finished out a day of medical research, calls with family, uh, and then turned in for their last night of sleep on Dragon around 2.30 a.m. Pacific time. Now, just before 1 p.m. Pacific time today, the Inspiration4 crew donned their spacesuits and made their final cabin preparations before they begin the last series of operations prior to splashdown. Yeah, we have a lot of events coming up today, so let's walk through the dynamic activities ahead of us this afternoon. At 3.17 p.m. Pacific time, we'll have the beginning of the deorbit burn. This is the last time that we'll use the forward bulkhead thrusters, uh, at, and after that, uh, we'll close the nose cone and lock it in preparation for reentry. That deorbit burn is expected to last for about 15 minutes, and that is what will line up Dragon for reentry into Earth's atmosphere. Uh, as the cabin continues to increase in, pre uh, not in pressure, in temperature a little bit, there is nitrox that is used to cool the cabin and the suits to keep the, the crew nice Dragon. and comfortable. The orbit sequence start in five minutes. You are now live. And copy that, SpaceX. We show the same. Uh, coming up in a, in a few minutes at 3.09 p.m. Pacific time, we have claw separation. Dragon has to move into the proper attitude or angle in order to separate the trunk so that they don't deorbit together. The claw connects the trunk to the capsule. It also delivers power, telemetry, and fluids. Uh, so the claw separation is the first step in separating that trunk. Uh, trunk separation is next. That happens around 3.12 p.m. Pacific time. Once the trunk is separated, Dragon is running entirely on battery power. So if you're looking at the animation on your screen right now, the trunk is the bottom half of the section uh, of the, the Dragon vehicle, the cylindrical portion. That will detach and leave just the capsule uh, returning back to Earth. And then we will close the nose cone, um, and this will cover the forward hatch thruster, thrusters uh, that we use in the deorbit burn. And it also protects the cupola uh, during re-entry. Um, and then during re-entry, we will have a known 
a calm blackout period of time. Um, this is an expected loss of communications with Dragon for about seven minutes as Dragon passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, about seven minutes later, we will regain that communication around 3.53 p.m. Pacific time, although the timing is not exact. A few minutes after we get communications back, we're gonna start to deploy our parachutes. First up, we have the Drogue um, parachutes. Uh, the Drogue chutes are two smaller parachutes that are designed to stabilize the Dragon and slow it down before release of the main chutes, which you just saw on screen. Those are the four uh, orange and white uh, larger parachutes that will further slow down the spacecraft. Seeing Dragon coming back down to Earth right there. Yeah, this is amazing. This is the first shot of the Dragon <laughs> capsule coming back uh, as part of the Inspiration4 mission. Uh, the crowd here is super excited <laughs> seeing that for the first time as well. Um, so yeah, a couple minutes left of um, the blackout period, and uh, we should be getting comms reestablished with the crew here shortly. Nominal altitude for drogue shoot deploy. Copy that, SpaceX. We show the same. Regained comms with Dragon, uh, and they're getting ready for drogue deploy here shortly. And we're expecting um, drogue shoots deploy to deploy, and then the main shoots shortly after that here in a couple of minutes. expecting the main shoots for these to cut off and the main shoots to come uh, shortly after this. <laughs> Dragon, these are four healthy mains. Dragon, the set right now, you have visual from the Covey forces. And at 4.04 p.m. Pacific time, we do have confirmation that the main chutes have deployed. And you can see that on your left-hand screen of a camera looking forward uh, above the Dragon capsule, looking at those four main chutes. 200, we're bracing. We copy 200. Inspiration 4, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home to planet Earth. Your mission has shown the world that space is for all of us and that everyday people can make extraordinary impacts in the world around them. Thank you for sharing your leadership, hope, generosity, and prosperity. And congratulations on your incredible journey. Thanks so much, SpaceX. It was a heck of a ride for us. It's just getting started. Coffee just getting started.